not gasoline, it's diesel. There we go. <laughs> Wow. Quite dramatic. Totally, bro. The heat should eventually cook it all into flaming up every side. Yeah, eventually. Falling in love with the one who could take my fire. Oh, that's what I'm missing. I was going to get a third bowl and mix them together in the moment. Let me go get that. This pre lube. There we go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> then we'll go ahead and we'll take some of our extra special flour mixture. Got all that mixed up together already. Try one scoop of that. We'll probably need a couple scoops of liquid with it. Oh, yummy, a dead honeybee. My favorite. This fell in there. Get out of there. That's weird. How's it already dead? Whatever. Okay, then. Want some fruity bits, not too many. I like that. And some liquid. One, two, let's try three scoops of liquid. I'll put a little bit of the uh, fermented honey vinegar in there. Some lemon lime soda water. See that mixy sensation there? It starts to froth. See, it's still too thick. Like that would be good for like more like a cake or something. A yeah. little honey cake you want to make over the fire? Oh man, that'd be great. Right, but see if it's since it's new what it is, <clears throat> then you want to add more liquid if you're doing more of a pancake. Yeah, that looks, that looks pretty good. Yeah, see? And it's still kind of thick. Yeah, pancakes are actually really thin, so... A little bit more like that. Yeah. I think we're just about there. Alright.
couple big pancakes here. Yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna set it right on the fire and let them heat up and cook. If you wish to accelerate the process, then you put the lid on there and let it percolate. These are going to taste so good. Look at those specimens sizzle and pop. Ah, oh, come on. Will it flip? Hmm. I think it's got to go longer, actually. I hope I got enough spray oil on there. You might have fucked it up. There should be plenty of oil, though. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, a little stubborn. That's a little too stubborn. Hmm. Maybe it's the pumpkin. Maybe. Maybe the pumpkin, you can't put it in these type of things. Yeah, it seems to uh, do something funky, doesn't it? I think it's the pumpkin, I guess. Yeah. Huh. Just absorbs endless oil or something, you think? Maybe, yeah. It seems like it would reach some point, though, where... It would create, you know, the regular crust underneath so that you could. Yeah, that's flip bizarre. It. Maybe it still will. I don't know. Maybe it just takes longer. All right. What I figured out because uh, there's pumpkin in this is that the pumpkin really, with the other fruit, makes it too like gluey as the uh, starch turns into some sort of glucose sugar or something. So. You see, you can't just scrape it off. It doesn't work for pancakes too good. So instead, what I'm going to do, I think, is uh, turn it into some pumpkin pie. I think, I'll have to think about how I'm going to do that here in another minute. Here. See, it's just too... It looks like tasty pumpkin pie filling, though, is the point. I bet it already tastes good like that. But, you know, we got to make sure it's all pie-licious, because this is just silly. All the professional. All right. So what we're doing now is, um, I figured out we were talking about it. The reason for pies, you got to make the crust separate and dry, is what you know Grant was figuring out. So we'll bring some actual pie tins out here. I'll get some almonds and. You know, grind those up with the flour a little bit and a little bit of oil and uh, sweetener. And we'll try to put some crust into the pie um, glasses. Get those kind of heated over the fire maybe to get them crispy like they're supposed to be. Then we'll pour the uh, liquid uh, fruity concoction mixture into the you know top of it. And, you know, put a lid over it and hopefully it'll uh, bake over the fire into a really tasty pie. Anyways, uh, this was kind of a failure here, but let's see what it tastes like now that we got this cooked for a while. Kind of like a strange pumpkin crumble pancake thingy. I don't know. It's more like pie filling ready to be put into a pie at this yeah. point. It really is. That's what, kind of what I got here. Because, you know, you kind of cook uh, pie filling a little bit if you're going to mix other ingredients into it, that's what people usually do. You kind of get them blended. Yeah. So. Exactly. But like on low heat, just to like get them mixed, kind of emulsified. So that's kind of what you're doing here. I'm going to put some honeys on there, see how it tastes. Oh 
man, yeah, it's like a, kind of like a pie, but also like a, yeah, pancake. Here, you should try it. I mean, it's just filling, so sure, why not? Yeah, like, I mean, it tastes what I imagine, like, really, really good pie filling to taste like. Yeah, right. It's so yummy. Like, but it's just not enough substance there to really be considered, like, a meal in and of itself. Well, I mean, yeah, we, we got to make the full pie. And then most people still don't, you know, eat pies for meals, but we do, so. Whatever. It's pretty yummy. Almonds turn into nut flour, ground in the blender of destiny, with its little blinky light. Yes, we got more pumpkin here, more pumpkin filling. Should I put some vanilla in it? If you want. Yes. Oh, it's all gone. There's another one behind it. Your vanilla like and delights. Yeah. Quite vanilla -y. Some allspice, oh yeah. Allspice, yes. Yeah. Whatever the hell that is. Some mysteries. It smells like cloves or something. Clove? Oh. You've ruined it. You've destroyed us all. Nope, not in class. Oh yeah, some of that. Oh yeah. Cinnamon. No. Cinnamon. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's your basic mixture. You can add, uh, you know, your sweetener, of course, make it really sweet. Real and pie we'll, filling -y. Yeah, then we'll add the other, you know, um, cherries and stuff in there too. Alright. Alright, I baked the pie crust for a minute too long, but they're only pleasantly browned and not destroyed, I don't think, so it works pretty Looks good. Looks good to me. A little bit too much rising in that one, but it's alright. Yeah. A little bit too fluffy, but uh, just uh, pour our pie crust on our pie juice on there. Like that. I think I got a little bit too much on that other one. I might put it on here. Got our pineapple and cherries with our uh, pumpkin. I gave up on the fire outside because it's too smoky. I was walking around the fire and uh, the smoke chased me 360 until it created a tornado that then swirled in various directions around and around the campfire causing smoke to spread throughout the entire area. So I figured if there's that much, uh, you know, resistance that I'll just uh, cook it inside. Because I was getting too smoky and dried out. I had a bunch of, had to rub, whoa, a bunch of lavender <sighs> on myself. Jeez. That was completely accidental, actually. Yeah, I know. Well, whatever. Uh, a little bit too much filling for this one, maybe. I don't know. I'm going to take a little bit. Guys, what? 20, 30 minutes? I don't know. Look it up. 20, I don't know how long to bake pie. Well, since the crust is already so burnt, I should probably smooth this over the edges. Oh, very clever. You're right. Yeah, because it's all burnt. You're right. That way it'll kind of protect it a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, unfortunately, yeah, that was burnt. But, I mean, other than that, like, uh, it should do fine. Yeah, it should. Alrighty. 
Might be a little bit too much there. Take a little bit. There we go. Put them back in there. Ouch. Ah, hot. Slippery. Oh, shit. I guess that's why you don't put it right to the edge normally. Because that hot and slippery. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're going to have to remember that when you take them back out. It's so hot. Okay. Oh yeah, I gotta cool it down too. It was at 420, so I gotta leave that open for a second. Like cool off a little bit. Now let's see how long it takes to cook pies. Put it on 20 for now. Oh, 